Hello, my name is Jento Bibat and uh, I am a participation coach at UCLL uh, in Belgium for the Leuven region. Um, I am part of the student services team and so my job title is participation coach. I have been doing this job for two years now and I still find it hard to give a summarized description of everything I get to do, but um, I will give it a try. My role generally is to support student engagement there. Very short. Um, however, this includes many aspects of student engagement. I coach the formal and informal student associations. Um, and by coaching, I mostly mean supporting them administratively and taking up an advisory role when asked. Um, this coaching is crucial when an association is just getting started, but even further on, uh, some guidance and support from the school uh, is very welcome for most. Uh, that's why I keep checking in with all of the asso associations um, and I'm known as the, the SPOC, like the single point of contact for all students reps at UCLL in the Leuven region. I also follow up on policy decisions regarding student participation and I make sure that participation for students is ensured in all relevant meetings and regarding all relevant topics. UCLL values their formal and informal student associations quite much. Um, they are involved as much as is possible and they are regarded as a full member during meetings where they represent the overall student's opinion. Then in order to coach students and student reps as good as possible and help them fulfill their role properly, I create a training offer that should provide them with the most needed skills for student reps. Um, this means we don't really organize elections in most cases. However, sometimes this is obligated, unfortunately. Um, but as we feel that um, a popularity contest doesn't really contribute much to how qualified one may be uh, to become a student rep. Instead, we feel that everyone can be a student rep if they want to uh, and if they receive the proper training for this. Furthermore, I support initiatives uh, on thematic student participation, which create opportunities for students who are rather interested in um, one theme, for instance, sustainability or LGBTQIA+, um, and so on, um, to participate in an often short-term, often project-based initiative that is based on their own interests. Um, I'm also in touch with the city of Leuven, and other partners in the region regarding uh, general student life in the city. Um, and since this academic year, I'm also the coordinator of a cross course on student participation, uh, which is a way of UCLL showing appreciation for students' time investment in the shape of a course. Uh, the course is worth three credits. Um, the coordination of the course mostly exists out of organizing some moments uh, of crossover, with all student reps and checking their portfolios, which are basically uh, their student engagement diaries. For all of this, flexibility is key uh, in order to attract and be able to provide coaching to all types of student profiles. It is important to adapt myself and to sometimes try and take a look at things from a non-traditional student's perspective. This means um, working evenings to join meetings or events, being available or accessible via more informal ways, such as Facebook or WhatsApp, um, and always be their go-to person. This is where some difficulty may come in, uh, how to stay neutral and maintain, maintain some professional distance, since I'm still a staff member of UCLL, uh, while at the same time being someone they trust and almost see as one of them. Um, I'm part of meetings, I'm part of chat groups, uh, I receive personalized sweaters and even get invited to join their team buildings. However, it's a very unique position to be in and I am very grateful for that. Um, I try to set some boundaries in order to make sure to not completely be swallowed in the student life again. Uh, for instance, I rarely ever check my professional Facebook profile and put most of the chat groups like on Messenger or on WhatsApp on mute so I can decide myself um, when I check them and when not. I communicated this loud and clear to all student reps 
so they know when they might expect an answer and when not. Um, for instance, I'll have my Facebook profile on the whole time when I'm working, from 9 to 5 every day. Um, but I do the same when I leave for holidays. Um, I let them know that I won't be available on that profile. In case of emergency, they of, co of course all know that they can text or call me at any time. Last but not least, I am uh, convinced that coaching student participants creates opportunities for all. Um, it lowers thresholds and it makes it a bit more possible for anybody to participate and to engage. And wouldn't that be the real dream coming true? Thank you for uh, listening to what I want to share.